Hi all. This video will explain how to update or insert a record into a target table using an update strategy transformation. Here I am taking a table that is application type table. Here in target database we do not have any records in application type table. And I am checking in source database. In source database, we have seven records. I am loading these seven records into target database application type table using an Informatica update strategy transformation. I am opening Informatica Power Center Designer, going to Mappings, create a new mapping. I am giving the mapping name as m underscore application type underscore dim. From sources, I am taking this application type source. Previously, I have created this application type source and target transformation in these two folders. Now, I am creating an expression transformation. I am naming it as exp underscore application type I am selecting application id and application name and dragging into application type expression transformation if you look into application source call for properties here we do not have any sql override query means we are selecting all records which are presented in application type table as we are using update strategy transformation to update a record in our target table we have to take a lookup of the target table this lookup is used to matching the source record with respect to the target table Lookup transformation. I am naming it as LKP underscore application type. Create. For this lookup, E is an instance for target target database application type. So I am selecting tested targets application type. This is from targets. I am selecting these two rows into application type lookup. Here, by default, these these application ID and application name are already existing in target table. That's why here automatically it, it it appends one to these two fields. Here, this is the lookup. These two are lookup fields and these two are input fields. And I am selecting the lookup properties, lookup policy and multiple matches. I am selecting this value to use first value. If we have multiple matches with respect to selected criteria, based on given other by, it will select the first value and in similar way last value. If we report error, if we have multiple matches on this single column, it will it throws an error. Use any value means it will select a value randomly. I am going to conditions. I am adding a new condition. Application ID as application name. By default, it, it has selected. Okay. Now I am selecting a another expression transformation. Naming it as expression underscore application type one.
here i am selecting these four fields and dragging into this application type transformation here this application id 1 and application name 1 are from source and remaining application id and application name are from lookup transformation here we can get these two fields from lookup transformation else we can get these two fields from expression transformation here i am remo removing these two and then selecting these two to these two fields now i have mapped source application id and application name to this new expression application id and application name and the application id 1 and application name 1 are from lookup transformation means those are coming from target table application type here i will create a two two columns to figure out whether the given application id is to insert or update the target record ports adding a new field insert flag and i am giving the expression for this as this is a variable one and the expression is if class if given application id 1 is null means lookup the value which is coming from lookup transformation is null you can also select from here application id if it is null i am selecting 1 else i am selecting 0 i am validating the expression expression passed successfully means it, it contains no errors and i am creating a another port to decide whether the given record is for update or insert update flag selecting it as variable and changing the expression as if class from course and selecting application name which is coming from source if it is equal to application name which is coming from target then i am selecting it as 1 f 0 means if the source and target application name both are equal i am setting the flag as 1 else the flag as 0 validating the expression expression password successfully here i have deselected two variable ports and selected as output ports here we can see new created two ports that is insert flag and update flag now i am creating a router transformation to route the records to respect to target whether the record is for insert or update creating router transformation i am naming it as rtr application type here i have moved application id application name and insert update flag these four ports into router transformation here application id and application name are coming from source and going to router properties groups in groups i am creating two groups for insert flag I am giving the group filter as in 
is a flag equal to one. Here we are getting an error is due to data type compatibility. Here I am changing the insert flag data type to integer and update flag data type to integer. I am changing the same in router transformation and make sure that these two are as integer. Previously it is set to string. I am changing these two values to integer. And order transformation groups properties changing the group filter condition as insert flag equal to 1 passing the expression expression passed successfully and I am adding another group that is update flag and the group condition as update flag equal to 0 I am validating the expression, expression passes successfully. Here I have created two groups that is for insert and another one is for update. Here insert equal to 1 means here our insert expression is if the application id 1 is null means here this application id 1 is from target table means the record is not exist in the target table the value will become 1. So if the insert flag is 1, the record will be inserted into the target table. 1 record will be inserted into the target table. Here if the update flag is equal to 0 means our update expression is if both are equal application name and target application name 1 both names are equal then here then I am not performing any action means if both are equal then the update flag is set to 1 if update flag is set to 0 means application name 1 and target application name 1 both are different so here I am taking a 0 if both are not equal then I am updating the record into the target table means the records which are which have application name is different those records will be moved to update strategy transformation here this is our inserted records and this, these are our updated records and the records which are not satisfied any of the condition those records will be move, moved to this default transformation now I am taking an update strategy transformation update strategy update strategy for insert I have created update strategy transformation for inserted records and here I am moving this application id1 and application name to update strategy transformation these two indicates our insert operation I am changing the update strategy properties here the update strategy expression is set to 0 here for this update strategy transformation here the expression value is if 0 then the record will be inserted into the target table and if the value is 1 then the record is for update similarly for reject and delete we have 2 and 3 values and I am taking another update strategy transformation update application type I am creating the transformation and passing the values from update flag part and I am changing the properties to here that by default the property value will be set to 0 I am changing it to 1 1 means this value will be updated into the target table here I am taking two target transformations from target 1 I am painting these two values to target and I am taking another target transformation 